Just a reminder that this and all my other videos are made for doll collectors or adults buying dolls for others. This is not a video for children. Viewer discretion is advised. Thank you very much for listening. Hello Internet! My name is Kelsey and welcome back to my closet. So it's another day of Monster High pictures. Not only have we finally gotten pictures of Abby and Claude in their signature looks, but we have updates for the Monster Ball as well as the Laguna Hairplay doll. So let's not waste any more time with the intro, let's just get right in. So firstly, Let's have a look at Abby and Claude. Now, obviously, Abby is the stronger doll here, and that tends to usually be the case for girl dolls, but I just love all the icy colors and wintry vibes, the big fur stole. It gives her an extra monstery look. She's got tinsel in her hair. I really love the earring that she has too, the little cuff combined with the crystal dangling down, the way that her nose is purple. She's really cool, no pun intended. The only thing I worry about is the possibility that her hair is going to be poly, given the color scheme that it is and having the tinsel in it and everything. And since we've had a couple of G3 Monster High dolls with poly rather than Saran, of course that's hard to tell in pictures. It looks nice in the stock images, but we won't really know until we're actually able to feel it. But she's really cute. Claude, he's fine. I appreciate that he has rooted curly hair rather than sculpted hair. That's a plus. He has a nice varsity jacket. You guys know I love a varsity jacket, but unfortunately it looks like the buttons are just printed on and some of the patches that could have been actual patches. I do like that even though he's a boy doll, he did get a duffel bag because usually boy dolls don't come with any kind of bag accessory. Being that he's clearly an athlete, it makes sense for him to have a duffel bag. And he's got his little sports jersey as well to switch into for casket ball. I mean, his design is cute. Do I wish that his clothes didn't have so many printed on details? Yes, but this is Mattel we're dealing with, so I guess I shouldn't be too surprised. But it does look like he has ankle joints, which I will never understand why only boy dolls get ankle joints and not girl dolls. I do love that scary hockey beef jerky. The puns will never never cease with Monster High. We have official stock images now for Monster Ball. We had already seen Draculaura just in her box, and as I suspected, out of the box she looks a hundred times better. I don't know what they did to her in that box that made her look so weird, but I am loving the way that she looks now in these stock images. And I had a feeling I would. Even though it's not a very Victorian style of dress, she still has an old school vibe with the big voluminous hairstyle that she has. The giant bow is so campy but cute. And I love the extra intense makeup on her. She is so much prettier out of the box. Thank goodness. But now we can also look at the rest of the ghouls. And as I had hoped, Claudine is wearing a tuxedo or a suit, a pantsuit, I guess we could say, because she doesn't really have the tuxedo bib or the coattails. But she does have a bow tie. And they even added just a little bit of tinsel into her hair, but it looks like it doesn't continue down into the main part of her hair, which I'm sure a lot of people are going to appreciate because it's so difficult to deal with tinsel, even though I think it looks really pretty. And I love the gold reflective one that they chose. This is a really nice Claudine. And I do love too that they gave her a darker brown hair. They don't have that really light brown that some of the other Claudines have had recently. I think it suits her a lot better. I love the rich royal purple color of her pants and her jacket and the subtle animal print too. It's not all over. It's just down the sides of the pants and at the belt. I think they made a really nice classy look for this ball and she still looks feminine even at the same time as wearing a pantsuit. I think this is really a gorgeous Claudine. She's competing with the Firidescent Claudine for me now. I do also notice that each doll has a different picture of the group, which is adorable, which means that you get a full set of pictures if you buy all four dolls rather than getting the same one every time. That was really smart. Now let's look at Cleo. I like that they added in some darker hair for her here. It looks like she's got less of the light blue and more black going on. The headdress, as I had expected, is a humongous Queen of the Nile moment. She's got some really pretty jewelry. I love the black tulle on her outfit with the little silver sparkles. The whole look 
is very night sky. Her shoes aren't the most exciting, although it looks like she has little coiled snakes for heels. She's got like a Jafar snake staff thing going on, so that's kind of fun. She is very, very pretty, and they brought her lip ring back too, which is great. And then we have Laguna. Now, I do like her hairstyle. I like the big curls that they gave her and that tail fin hair piece, or is it supposed to be like a sea flower of some kind? She's got the cute octopus earrings and then the Davy Jones mustache thing for the photo booth. That's hilarious. But the dress is not exactly what I was hoping. It's not a full mermaid style, but I wish that they had used a more salmon-y pink rather than this vibrant hot pink. I think that would have gone a little bit better into the undersea theme of her. But her jewelry pieces are really fun. She's got a tentacle necklace. She's got the flowers on her shoes again to call back to her hair piece. If only they had chosen more of a salmon color for the ruffles on her dress, I think she would have been a hundred times better. But overall, I think the line is really adorable. I love all of their little party accessories that each person brings a different one, that each one has has a different picture of the group. I love that they gave Claudine pants in a line where you would expect everyone to be wearing dresses. It's calling back a lot to Sweet 1600, and I really appreciate that reference, even though I wasn't into Monster High back in the day when that was actually out. But then we have leaks of this Laguna, and I think she would have been more suited to be the Monster Ball Laguna. She's wearing a full-length dress, or at least a really long skirt with a top. She has longer hair and fancier accessories and shoes. I love the shoes that are all coral up the legs. This is supposedly the Hairplay Laguna, and that makes sense since the hair is extra long and it's not intricately styled so that it's easier to play with with the hair accessories, but it's odd that they gave her such a formal outfit for just a Hairplay doll. But still, I do really like this dress. I love the jellyfish pattern. The seahorse earrings are cute, and again, the shoes they're some of my favorites. They even cut the tool at the bottom layer of the dress into kind of jellyfish tentacles. I'm really excited to see what other hair play accessories that she comes with. And anyway, guys, that's everything that I wanted to touch on. I know it wasn't a very long video this time, but we haven't had tons and tons of leaks lately. So let me know what you think of all these new Monster High dolls. Let me know who you're looking forward to getting. Thanks so much for watching the video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, share the video with your friends, and until next time, bye.